In this video, I want to go over a music player for Linux systems called Rhythmbox. Now, if you found this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will show you how to install it and how to use the basic features of it. Now, if you're using Ubuntu Mate, this is the default music player and music manager for your system. Now, Rhythmbox is a very easy to use music player and manager program which supports a wide a wide range of audio formats. So it will play your MP3s, your OGGs, and other type of files. Now if you are using Ubuntu Mate, if you install this PPA and you run sudo app get update, you don't have to install it because it's already installed and it will install it to a newer version. It may not install it to the newest version, but it will install it to a newer version than what's on your 18.04 long-term support system. Then I highly recommend that you remove the PPA. Let me explain what happens if you don't remove the PPA. If you're using other programs like Audacious, and that's one of my favorite uh, music players, if you're using this PPA keep it installed and the next time you update it will update this file this file and this file from version 3.10-1 to version 4.02 and that will break the program audacious because it needs the older versions of 3.10-1 each of these files so what you'll have to do is to remove that PPA uninstall each of these three files and then reinstall them using the older version which by taking this PPA out if you just go back and say sudo app get install that file that file and then that file it will put the version that it needs back on your system so that your system won't appear to be broken so if you're using audacious and you install that PPA and you install Rhythmbox if you leave the PPA you'll get a little red error message up here that it will break uh, other programs on your system so if you want to keep what version's there, if you don't want to put the PPA, you can just go sudo at get update and sudo at get install Rhythmbox. It will install the version matched for your system. Now, if you don't like installing using the terminal, then you can click on the PKGS or the GitHub, which is Flat Hub or the developer's website, and you can install it, find your system. Like in this case, I'm using 18.04. Click here, and I should be using version 3.42, but as you can see, putting the PPA installs version 3.43. So that's where it does install a newer version. Now, if you're running version Ubuntu 20.04 right now, it's in the beta stage at the time I'm making this video, but in the future when it's long-term support, it will install the version 3.4.4 on your system. So you find what Linux operating system you're using, download the installation file and install it on your system without using the terminal. You can install using FlatHub, using the flat pack by clicking the install button. However, when you use snap packages and flat hubs, they don't all or flat packs, they don't always uh, apply the theme that you have for your system. And then you can also go in and download the source or the download links from the developer's website. So let me close these out and this is how you install it just simply copy and paste the PPA and place it in your terminal press the enter return key then copy and paste this place it in your terminal press the enter return key and then copy this put it in your terminal press the enter return key and then I recommend you to remove the PPA to prevent that breakage of audacious and it may break other programs as well so I just recommend you to remove the third-party PPAs once you install it I'm using the traditional menu of Ubuntu Mate 18.04.04, the long-term support. It's an application sound and video. And then there is uh, the icon rhythm box. Now when you first load it, it will look into your default music folder of your system. So I do have two albums in my music folder. And so it did load the two albums. However, I have a larger hard drive into my system that I have most of my albums on it. I just drug these two in there when I previously made other videos for other music players and I just hasn't moved them back. Those are stays in that default music folder. So you will see some music there. I show you how you can import it by going through step by step illustrations and instead of showing you the pictures here let's take a look at the actual program itself. So go applications, sound and video and then you just simply go down to rhythm box. Once you click on Rhythmbox and it opens up, as you can see here, it's loaded all my albums. I can drag all the way down to the bottom of the list. And it does take a while to load each of the albums and songs into it when you go to import them into the player. But by default, it will look into the default music folder, and there's the two players that I have there. So my other musics are on my two terabyte hard drive, and I'll show you how you can load those. You go into the edit menu, click on your preferences, 
and when that opens up you click onto the music tab you click the browse button and when the browse uh, choose library location you choose what hard drive and what folder click open and then you'll see it start importing or then hit close button here you'll see a little progress bar growing across the bottom and it may take several minutes depending upon how many songs and albums you have on your system if you've got thousands of albums it will take longer than if you only have a few albums once it loads you'll see a screen that looks very similar to this I'm using a black theme for my operating system yours may be a gray or whatever color the theme for your system you'll see it by artist by album and then your playlist you can click on an artist uh, over here and it will show you the songs from that artist I prefer to choose by album so instead of showing all 121 albums that I have here if I click like on the first one you only only see the songs from that particular album now let me make sure here's the volume control you can turn the volume up or down then you got your settings button where you can add more music to your list you can go into different view modes you can go and click to see the tools available so what plugins that you have available to you and we'll take a look at more about plugins in a moment you also have your preference menu where we went to the music while I go instead of going edit preferences you can access the preferences there you have four tabs which you can control what you see in this view in this case is artist albums you can choose by genres and artists genre artist and albums and then below where you have your title your uh, track your album your time you can choose what you want to view by checking or unchecking in this visible columns for playback if you don't like crossfade then uncheck those if you do like some crossfade between your songs click this and choose how much time you want for your crossfade for your music this is where we just looked at just a few moments ago where you can browse to your folder and then you can check this to watch my library for new files so as you add files the next time you load the player it will update the songs according to the new music that you put in those folders here's the library structure you can change that and you can choose what preferable uh, formats that you're using and your particular type of bitrate Here's for podcasts, and I'm not really dealing with streaming. I'm just dealing with playing music on your system. So let me close this. And the last things in the settings is you got your help, the about. And clicking the about shows the version 3.4.3, and then you have where you can quit the program. All right, I'm going to make sure I do have the volume all the way down. You can click on a file. And you can click the play button and it will start playing. And like I said, you're not going to hear anything because I have it turned all the way down. I don't want to get a copyright strike for playing copyrighted music. You can stop it by hitting the pause button. You can also double click a song and it will also start playing that way by double clicking. Now you do have the feature of moving uh, back a song. Let me click here and see. you can move back songs. You can move forward songs. And that's your pause and plays. This right here is to repeat an album so once it finishes this album if you click this button it will jump back from the bottom back to the top of the list and if you have all 121 if you leave it playing for days when it finishes it will jump back to the top of the list so if you want to make sure you repeat an album click on that album let it play through it click that button there before you start and it will jump back to the beginning of your album if you don't want to play it in this particular order you can hit this button here and it will shuffle the song list here so it will play them in a random order and then as it's playing you got your album art or cover art you got the name of the song you got by who it's from and then and there's the album name that's the song name this is the album name and there's the artist here's your little progressive bar that will grow as the song is playing it will move across here and there you can see it's like a little uh, pop up that you can play you can move to the next song or so on and so forth here's your volume control and then there's your settings again if you go to tools and click your plugins the newer version of Rhythmbox doesn't have as many plugins as the older versions the older version uses third-party plugins that will allow you to extend the capabilities of Rhythmbox so if you want to see an alternative uh, bar across the top this should be installed by default with version 18.04 if for some reason it's not you can go down here and install this particular PPA update and install the alternate toolbar I don't like showing too much about the plugins but this works for this particular player and then when you get it installed you might want to remove that PPA so that it don't break any other packages on your system but then when you choose the alternate toolbar your volume control goes away so that you're using it by your keyboard 
and the settings button goes away because you can access it through your edit and your tools so when I click on the alternate toolbar as you can see here things changed instead of having these two buttons over on the left hand side they're now moved over here your volume control is now gone with the alternate toolbar you can control the volume if you can see here increase volume is control up on your keyboard control key along with the up arrow and the control key with the down arrow this kind of saves a little bit of real estate because it's kind of thinner up here at the top but all you're doing is just allowing you to have more playlist area but you can resize this according so if you like the alternative look choose the alternative plug-in and if you like the original look you can keep it as the default settings now there's not much about this particular player uh, once you get your music imported you can go and adjust it by album or you can scroll through and choose an artist you it will show your recently added songs and I don't use this e even though this is my installed on Ubuntu Mate it's not my default player but if you like the looks of this please install it and give it a try it is a nice player I've been using it for the last few days uh, I have had some trouble with the plugins and the reason for that is these third-party plugins were for the older versions so you can go back and install an older versions and find plugins across the internet that will work with the older versions of Rhythmbox so if you're looking for another music player and you're on a Linux system, give Rhythmbox a try. You may enjoy it. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.